she thinks of herself in the league in terms of celebrity status as Kim Kardashian, and she looks around and she only has two nannies and only lives in government. I mean, it's not enough for her. She visited the White House, the most lavish White House in American history, the most spendy first lady in, in American history, and she said, oh, why can't I have that? Why can't I have a, an East Wing in 24 Sussex Drive that's my command post? I think she... I think she's always been kooky. Both of them have always been insulated by reality because they've been living off of his massive trust fund. I think we've seen the real Sophie Trudeau. And you know what? I think she's going to get away with it. Last word to you, Gavin. Do you think that the, the slavish media party that is so in love, erotically in love, with the two <laughs> Trudeaus, do you think they're going to push back or do you think they're going to say, yeah, she does have it tough? They're going to say, yeah, she does have it tough. You know why? That's why they were elected. They are the Kardashian prime ministership, and it's because Canadians want that. I mean, we had Trudeau mania with his dad. They like the idea of these people being aristocrats. They like the idea of a monarchy back in Canada. They want her to be as shallow and as lavish as she could possibly be. That's what really scares me here. It's not so much her behavior, but the fawning adoration of it. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.